So, good morning guys. My name is Keizo. Um, as you can see, we are already on the road. Um, I'm not quite sure what time it is. I'm not gonna look right now. I know I'm late. <laughs> that, that's all I know. Um, heading up to meet up with the guys in Marion. Uh, I don't know if it's really windy for you guys, but I can't hear a thing in my helmet right now. Um, heading up to meet the guys in Marion. North Carolina. We're going up North Carolina 80, the Devil's Whip, hitting the Blue Ridge Parkway, going all the way up to Blowing Rock, and then all the way back down 321 to the Tail of the Dragon. And we are spending the entire weekend there. This is going to be one hell of a trip, guys. I am super pumped. Um, on the way out to Marion, I'm not going to record the whole ride. Um, it's just a lot a straight shot down 221 pretty much so uh, it's really not that interesting and I want to save some footage for when I get out there so I'll catch you guys in a little bit stay tuned all right sweet so what's going on guys um, I've met up with the guys we are on the Blue Ridge Parkway heading up towards Boone North Carolina uh, for some lunch and <laughs> As soon as I met up with everybody, Ryan started changing out his uh, SD cards and turning on his GoPro, so immediately I remembered that I didn't bring my extra battery, my extra SD cards. Beautiful. Oh, look at the clouds on top of the mountains there. That's incredible. One, two, three, four, and Ian's behind me. There's five of us. This is gonna be a good little ride. Um, what I'll do, because I've already got this whole entire section of the parkway recorded, um, all the way up until Linville, the Linville Cove Viaduct area, we're gonna be going past that. Um, so what I'll do, I'll probably cut the camera off for now, save some battery, save some uh, SD card footage, or SD card space. And then I'll come back um, whenever we get to something that I haven't recorded yet. I'll see you guys soon. All right, quick little update. Um, ah, that looks bad. And I didn't bring my fucking rain gear. That'll be cool. Well, at least my fucking jacket will shrink after it gets wet. Um, anyway, we're on our way up, still on our way up to, where are we going? Way back check, I think. For burgers. Burgers! Mm. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in a bit, guys. It's probably just gonna be a bunch of this until we get up to eat, so I'll start recording when we get up there. I'll be back. There we go. All right, we have made it to Boone, North Carolina, as you can see. Um, my bike is really hot. This traffic needs to like do something. I've already shut it off like three times. We've been in this traffic for about 10 minutes now.
Yep. Too hot. little town and the food oh my goodness we must have just driven by like six different restaurants because the, the amount of food smell in the air and it smells good <laughs> like really good good god That thing's cool. What the hell is that? Land Runner? It's not the way back shack we're going to, it's the comeback shack. I had the name wrong. Ah, that's 321. college this is but it's definitely college that must be why there's so many freaking kids younger kids walking around the streets here oh a noodle bar Temperature is finally starting to go back down under 200. I wish we were moving a little bit quicker because it'd go down even further. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm sitting here behind everybody getting dirty air. Please, God, don't make me explain dirty air to you guys. <laughs> Is that a message? No. I don't know why the fuck I thought that was a Massachusetts plate. Probably because red lettering. Good lord, man. I'm dying. I need to pee. I'm thirsty. My balls are numb.
since this is just nothing but traffic, I'll get back to you guys when we're leaving the, uh, the comeback shack. All right, sweet. So we've had lunch. Uh, we stopped at a place called the Comeback Shack. Amazing, amazing burgers there, by the way. Um, completely stuffed, and now we've got a six hour ride ahead of us, so this should be interesting. Um, finally starting to move now. We've been in traffic all the way through Boone, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what this road's gonna be like. I know we are gonna hit another road uh, called a Snake. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut out all this commuting stuff and just come back when we get there just because of the lack of SD card space. At least until I'm able to stop and buy one. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit as soon as we get closer to Tennessee. I don't even know if you guys can hear a word I'm saying because my helmet's probably noisy as shit. Um, as you can see off in the distance there, we've got the Great Smoky Mountains actually all the way to our left. Um, I'm not really going to get a good view of it right now. You can kind of see them over there and all the way in front of us. Um, still heading down, I believe this is 11, 11 or 19, oh here it is right here, 11, South 11E, 321. So. We are on our way. Uh, we've still got a good bit of riding ahead of us just to get there. Um, there we go, that's a good shot of the mountains. Uh, home away from home as soon as we get, actually get there. Right now we're just commuting. And it's a lot of this and my knees are sore and my ass is numb and everything. It's great. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back when we get uh, closer up into the mountains. Good. I figured I'd go ahead and record this. Um, Taston Bristol Motor Speedway. That thing is enormous. We've been separated from the rest of them. Oh, there they are up there. I just saw a helmet. Anyway, I just wanted to put that in real quick because that was pretty impressive. I had no idea we were going to be going past that. Uh, so yeah, we're in Tennessee. I uh, have been for a little bit now. Uh, heading down towards this fucking truck. It was sketching me out for a second. Um, heading down towards Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, that way. Um, and we are now leaving Bristol, so good spot to end the video. I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Again, trying to save SD card space. Hey, guys. Um, we're still riding, and <laughs> we're not at the Dragon yet. Uh, we've been going for a good while, and we've still got, um, I think when we stopped for gas, uh, we had about three hours left, and we're probably going to be riding the dragon in the dark by the time we get there, so this will be interesting. Um, it's been a lot of this for the past 51 miles or so, so um, I'm not going to bother recording any, any of this. You guys are probably covered in bugs right now, I can't tell. Um, but yeah, I'll be back when we get closer to the dragon. It's going to be a good one, slaying the dragon in the dark. Oh boy. I'll see you guys soon. So, uh, what's up guys, um, <laughs> we're, we're still riding, we, we haven't hit 129 yet, we're getting closer, uh, we are now on the Foothills Parkway in the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, in, in terms of stupid decisions, <laughs> this is up there on the list. Oh my goodness, it is probably past 8 o'clock at this point, 8.30, 9 o'clock maybe. We haven't even hit the dragon yet. Like, this is insane. <laughs> 
if uh, if it was daylight, you can you can kind of actually you probably can't see shit on the GoPro. You'd probably be, be able to make out the mountains over to my left. There's a huge, huge view over there. A huge view, an incredible view. But anyway, I'm gonna shut this off now because you're not gonna be able to see shit except for the headlights. And this is like, it, when you wanna talk about sketchy, this is it. Top of the line sketch right here. <laughs> oh, there's the view. You can kind of see it now. Absolutely insane <laughs> absolutely insane I'll be back so guys we're about to slay the dragon in the dark this is deals gap us 129 uh, we're coming in from the backside and this is going to be a experience this was not planned. We were trying not to do this, but we got off route a couple times uh, and we had to backtrack a few times. So we're getting here a lot later than we thought. Like, this is not something you want to end up doing, riding the dragon at night. Hence why we're doing 35. far this is the sketchiest thing I have ever ever done on a motorcycle just putting it out there I'm not going to be able to talk through most of this, guys. I'll, I'll put in a little word here or there, but this is... <laughs> I'm glad I can't see the cliffs. That kind of makes it less sketchy, to be, to be completely honest. surprised we're the only ones out here nope not at all not at all Here we are.
So just gonna throw this out there. By far the sketchiest thing I have ever done on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> well, 